when he had to jump out of the airplane. It had caught on fire and all the other guys in the plane, there was five of them, had already been shot. He was the only one still alive. He really didn't know how to pull the parachute. That I guess they didn't teach him like they do now. They just said, here's your parachute. If it don't open, bring it back. He said he kept pulling and pulling when he finally did get the nerve to jump. And uh, he said, oh my God, it came off in his, his hand. hand. So he thought he broke it. But and that's what he was supposed to do, yeah. huh? The more he fell, then he finally opened up. And then when he did get close to the ground, there was a young teenager was shooting at him when he finally landed. And the German it? soldier said, my prisoner. So the little kid went. And, they t and he said the soldier kicked him out, just kept kicking him in the back all the way to wherever they had to go. He thought he could do anything clear up to, I think, 88. He bought a motorcycle at 88. Yeah. <laughs> he bought a motorcycle at 88. Yeah. And he drove it. Should've he was still it. lifting weights with yeah. his arms to keep strong. At age 94. At age yeah. 94. Mm -hmm. He had them at the vet home. He had them at yeah. the vet's home. After a few years, though, he, he always wanted he wanted to go back home. Yeah. Is that right? Have you been out there? Have you looked at the rooms, what the men have to stay in? You need to go into the room. Just visit. To visit. There's two beds, a curtain pulled across. Each one have enough for a single bed, one chair, and a TV. That's it. They're like barracks. It's just really small. It's small, small and it's, small. it's depressing. Bathroom. We got kind of upset one day with him. We just said, if you don't start them, we will. Next thing they know, a day later, they were starting antibiotics. I said, I thought you had to wait for the test. He said, well, it's on its way. Or uh, They said something to satisfy me. The hardest, the hardest thing that we had to endure When we seen them in the hospital yeah. for three days gasping for breath. That's a hard thing that you can see your daddy yeah. after all he's gone through. And then three days he's gasping for breath. And we couldn't do a damn thing about it. Mm -hmm. Not a thing. You know, he went through, he was <laughs> He didn't have an Just, easy life. Yeah, going you know? through war. He, he had worked enough. hard all his life. Oh, he never life. had a break, yeah. you know. It's two years and it's still hard. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I keep asking why. And how come? You hear so much about different things. Why didn't they make a big to-do about this? Why didn't they come? Why didn't they talk to their families? Why didn't they say even that, I am so sorry. You know, yeah. give, give me condolences. Give my family condolences. Mm -hmm. They've Let acted you know. like... And then, and like, go away. Uh, yeah. Go away, you know? We love this country. We raised the flag. We kneel down out now to pray. They can't even say, I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. Don't you think they should have? He didn't call our family. If he was in the state of Quincy, Illinois, why didn't he come and pay respects to uh, the, the family that lost their family? Yeah, it was only like 12. It wouldn't have took him long at all. If it was their dad, yeah. what would they want done? If their dad got shot down over enemy lines, if their dad was 13 months being kicked and starved and beaten, come home, 
picked himself up, worked his butt off till mm -hmm. till he retired, and then, and then have something happen. like this happen. Ask him what they would, how they would feel, mm -hmm. what would they want. We've seen our dad suffer. Mm 